Gopala Astrology Channel where the science meets astrology for common man's understanding. Subscribe and stay tuned to this channel for continued astrological update. Hello. Welcome to Gopala Astrology Channel once again. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and understanding a lot of interesting topics in both Vastu as well as astrology. So today I'm going to be talking about the placement of mirrors in the house for maximizing the benefits of the reflecting surfaces. So mirror means it's a reflecting surface. It's the one which is going to give you the good or bad results when it is placed in a particular location in the house. So I'm going to be talking specific areas, for example, the master bedroom, the kitchen, the children's bedroom, and even the living room, where exactly you need to place the mirror to get the maximum benefit of these reflecting surfaces. Please note that the mirrors are just the replica. Whatever is coming light energy in front of them, it's going to reflect back in the same way. So that means you need to reflect back the bad energy and keep the good energy in your place. That's the purpose of mirrors in Vastu Shastra. Friends, let's go to the today's video. And as I told you that I have seen a lot of videos on mirrors in, in the YouTube, but I was thinking specifically put those pictures and top view diagrams for a common man to really understand what the people are talking about. If we make it very simple and visual, people will grasp it and they make use of it because mirrors are extremely dangerous if they are in... Uh, in the wrong locations of your house. That's why I thought that I should make a video which has visual pictures. You guys can take the uh, screenshots of them, go back to your home, observe where the mirrors are, which are the ones which are not good for you guys. You can just eliminate them and the ones which are good must be kept, all right? So let's go to the actual top view of the plan of the house where you can place the mirror. This simple screenshot will help you everything, in everything, okay? So the mirrors can be installed in these points. For example, wherever you see the green rectangle, I'm showing this in a very simple two-bedroom house. You can use the same concept for any number of bedrooms in your house or a bungalow or anything. I have seen this type of uh, mirror application is useful for a man who is having a single bedroom or you can have 50 bedrooms. It doesn't matter. The Vastu still is a very good role for these mirrors. Okay. So imagine I have a north facing house here. So obviously your car park will be here and probably MD is the main door. W's are all the windows and then D is the door. Okay, now let's say the main door is here and you enter the, enter the hall or the living room. So in the living room, you always need to put the mirrors. If at all you want to have, it should be the north, north facing wall or to the east wall, right? It should be adhered to this. Okay, in the same thing in the master bedroom, it can be in the northeast zone where you can fix it to the north wall or to the east wall. And same goes to the kids. For the kids, it is important for them to have knowledge. So I have given to the east wall, right? If you just follow this guideline, it, it it's it's the best for your house. Okay, it can be your house can be east facing, west facing, north facing, and even south facing. It doesn't matter. Most important point is this. Okay, so let's understand where to put in the living room. Okay, you can have the mirrors. Okay, done. Uh, preferably in a wooden frame so please do not use metal frames okay avoid metal frames try to use the wooden frames because wood is very much close to the mother nature okay so you can always place it to the east or north wall as i told you please understand whatever is ref it is reflecting in front it should not be some negative things okay i mean uh, it should not be something like a clutter or anything like that so it should be clear uh, placement of mirror either in the east wall or the north wall. Please, please, please understand. Do not put the main uh, the, the the mirror in front of the main door itself because the main door is supposed to bring in a lot of positive energy or positive urja. And if you place the mirror right in front of the main door, whatever comes gets reflected back easily. So please do not 
do that mistake. I have seen this in many, many people's house. Whenever I visit for Vastu consultation, that's just the first thing I will ask them to remove the mirror. If at all, they are putting any, even the reflecting surfaces, it should not be there right in front of the main door. Okay, <clears throat> then please, please, please do not put any kind of mirrors near your kitchen uh, stoves and things like that because especially kitchen is very dangerous place to have mirrors because what if what look what it is reflecting it's reflecting the fire so it's sure to produce a lot of negativities uh, in the lady who who is cooking over here and she's going to fight with the husband all the time see please husbands who are whoever is looking into this video immediately go and look into your kitchen and if you find any mirror there reflecting the cooking platform please remove them you will have peace in the house trust me it works i have done this practically and that's the reason i have put this picture all right let's go to the children's room so children needs always the knowledge they are the seekers of knowledge every time they go to the school and they want to learn things every day so what you need to do is enhance the wall in the eastern direction and please make sure that eastern direction wall i'm, I'm suggesting should not reflect the the bed where your kid is sleeping Okay, avoid that area, then you are perfectly okay to keep the mirror in the eastern direction. All right, and the same thing goes in the western direction. See what is the crime that you are doing to yourself. When you place a mirror like this, it looks very artistic, it's beautiful, but it is extremely dangerous for the people, the couple who is sleeping here. They may even end up in divorce and things like that. Let me just tell you a small story that happened to me like uh, a year ago. Uh, there was a girl who just uh, wanted an appointment with me very urgently. I was busy. I said I, I couldn't do it. But somehow she insisted and she was crying in the phone. And then she said that I need to talk to you urgently. All right. So then she, she sent me the details, birth details. I went and uh, did the matchmaking of the horoscope of uh, herself as well as her husband. And then still she she, she was crying and I, I did not find anything wrong. It was a love marriage between the girl and as, uh, with her boyfriend and they are supposed to live happily. But she, she kept on crying. She's saying that uh, her husband is quarreling with her every day and she's not peaceful in this house and things like that. Then I asked her a very, very, very simple question. Do you have any mirror in your bedroom? And she said, yes, we have a mirror. We have a mirror right in front of our bed, she said. And then I told sister, please stop crying. You just go back to your bedroom, try to remove that mirror and come back to me after three weeks. And she said, uh, my, my husband is very possessive of that mirror. And uh, he, I don't think he, he will be in a frame of mind to remove it. If at all I move it, he is going to be nasty at me again. I said, just don't worry about it. Just try to do this. Convince him that, uh, okay, this reflecting surface is not good for me or something like that. So she sincerely followed. She stopped crying. She went back home. Probably she made an arrangement to move that mirror out. And then within three days, I got a call from her. So she said, Anne, because she's a Tamilian. So she said, just told me, I'm perfectly all right now. The, what happened to my husband? He has become quiet. He doesn't talk to me anyway, but he doesn't even shout at me as he was doing uh, last week and things like that. So please understand the mirror in the bedroom plays a very, very important role in the harmony of the couple who are living there. That's the reason. See, this could be a better arrangement compared to this one, right? So what is happening here, my friends, you have, you want a mirror, you want a dressing table right there in the master bedroom. You may have limitation of the space. You have spent a lot of money in, in making this wood work. You know, nowadays wood is extremely expensive. But what what you should do is you should tell your carpenter and the and the planner contractor that you need a split mirror like this in, in such a way the reflection doesn't fall onto the bed. So you you can see very clearly here. This is a very very good arrangement. Okay. So uh, as a, uh, that's exactly what is written here. Now as an engineer, I always like to give you the top uh, top view or the plan of the bedroom. And, uh, and you really need to follow this. Go back to your bedroom now, if at all you are seeing this video, and understand where exactly the mirror is placed in the 
bedroom. So, so what is happening here? This is the best place in the bedrooms to have the mirror. So why? Why? Because you understand you are sleeping here, for example, putting your head to the south and sleeping. Okay, the mirror here doesn't reflect to the bed. Suppose you have a corner table with the dressing table arrangement here. You can also put a mirror in such a way that it doesn't, this reflection doesn't come to the bed. Same goes here. Even choose this carefully. Okay, there should be a gap of at least about a feet you know, from the bed. And you can place the mirror here. Same goes to the left side as well. You can have a dressing table or a mirror here. At the same time, this too is giving the exact same results, okay? And suppose you have a wardrobe. Many people go and put mirrors in the wardrobe and get into a lot of problems. I would like to remove all those mirrors in front of the wardrobe. That means the ones which are on the outside of the door. You should take it off and place that mirror right here so that you can see that the reflections doesn't go into the bed itself. Okay, in the next slide, I will show you which are the places you should not use it. Please take a screenshot of this. Please, please, please follow these instructions. Okay, exactly opposite is this. Make sure the mirror is not there in any of these locations. I will tell you my own example, uh, which I have seen it very closely with a person. And uh, this mirror in, in her bedroom was exactly in the center this was reflecting to the stomach area of the person who was sleeping there and she slept like this for about 11 years imagine 11 years is a long time and this woman developed uh, an abdominal problem seriously and then she had to be admitted to hospital she was in fact uh, subject to a surgery the gallbladder was fully damaged and then she passed away later on. It was a very unfortunate story. Okay, so I will, I, I will emphasize more on this slide. Why? Because imagine you place a mirror right in front here and the reflection goes to the head. What happens to this couple, especially the man who is sleeping right in front of the mirror? Imagine he sleeps like this for about seven years or in the multiples of seven, seven, 14 or 21. By the time it is 14 years to 21 years, this person will have big problems like insomnia, he cannot sleep well, he will have loss of memories and maybe some something related to the uh, uh, brain problems can happen. Okay, imagine this mirror is reflecting to the, the couple's legs. What will happen to the leg? The leg can be, you know, the person can uh, have an accident, he can break his leg. I'm just telling you the seriousness. He can develop diabetics. Diabetic, he can become diabetic and then his leg has to be, one of the leg has to be amputated. Maybe it is possible. The long-term exposure or, to this mirror uh, can, can result in such kind of illnesses. Wherever, whichever part of the body is exposed to this mirror, it becomes very, very vulnerable because night time at a stretch we spend about uh, uh, six to eight hours. You know, six to eight hours we are sleeping in this position and taking the reflection of the negative energy in the night. Okay, so this arrangement is extremely, extremely dangerous. Okay, even when when the reflection happens to the couple like this, there may be a third person coming into their life and they may even end up in divorces. Right. So uh, suppose the, after the sleep, they suddenly get up uh, in the middle of the night or something like that. They will they will see their own reflection. They will feel that there is a third person in the in the room and things like that. So gradually, couple may end up in divorces. I have seen this personally. I have told people to remove the mirror, and uh, there, there has been a lot of lot of uh, improvement in their situation. All right. So, uh, mirrors can be good, mirrors can be bad, it is just the placement of it, because mirror doesn't know, it's just like a gun, you know, it's a loaded gun, in my opinion, I call mirrors as the loaded guns, if you don't know anything how to use the gun or the mirror, please do not use it at all, it's very, very simple, okay, so I, I even want to express one more point, imagine this is a mirror, okay, and uh, let us say from the bottom to the most point of the mirror it's about five feet imagine in your house there is a tall guy who is taller than this five feet or five, five and a half feet and whenever this person let us say the 
let's put this mirror right here. Okay, whenever this person walks past that mirror, his head is going to be cut off every time. That means the person, even when he's combing his hair, he has to tuck down and then he has to comb his hair. Right? So, in such situations, the reflection of the person always uh, gets, it, uh, gets the head cut off. And if he stays in this house for a long time, like 7 years, 14 years, 21 years, that person will develop a lot of problems in his head. He can also get into uh, insomnia, no sleep. He can even even become lunatic. Uh, okay, that, that's the level of serious. If at all you don't know how to use the mirrors, please, please do not install it in wrong places just because of aesthetics and beauty and things like that. And that can cause big problems in one's lives okay finally i will make a summary of what i told today in this video four points don't hang across the clutter suppose there is some dustbin and some something negative energy there even when you are putting a mirror properly when you open the window if outside there is some uh, dirty uh, area if it is reflecting that also it is very very bad you know do not hang uh, the mirror exactly opposite to the bed, which I showed you, and never put any mirror in the kitchen. Okay, especially the area where you are cooking, uh, the the fire, the fire gets reflected in, and it will multiply its effect, and it comes to the the person who is cooking there. Okay, and never, never hang the door in front of the main door. We should never have any mirror or any or any strong reflecting surfaces because whatever good things is coming from there it gets reflected back okay so finally what is the conclusion here i told you guys that north wall okay as you see this in this picture the north wall or the east wall north wall you put you reflect more uh, light energy which is coming from the south back right that means the negative energy coming from the south gets reflected and then the same thing negative energy coming from the west also gets reflected back it doesn't stay in the house okay that is the reason why we place the mirrors in the living rooms and stuff like that okay and uh, even when you place the mirror in the north direction or north in the northeast zone north north wall or the east wall what happens it's going to expand the northeast direction northeast is an except exceptionally good uh, corner of the house okay that zone of northeast is known as ishan corner ishan is is, is where lord shiva or the jupiter rules okay or stays so we have to make this area bigger make that area bigger we will place the mirror here okay so even the east east zone exactly is extremely good so you can also use this for knowledge all right so no no mirrors in the southeast or agni okay and no mirrors in the northwest or vayu and uh, mirrors in the southwest or nairutyam is is good but it should be dealt very very carefully so I have said enough now with the, we have come to the end of this video if you have any questions please type it in the comment section I would like you to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get all my videos as and when I place it in the YouTube thanks for your support thank you very much